Hello everyone, and welcome to the kitten stage. So, as you probably noticed for both this video and the last one, there's some black bars in between me and the camera. The reason for that, and I know it doesn't make the video quality very great, is that I wanted the camera to be separated from the full kitten enclosure because I wanted you to be able to see me without the kittens trying to wobble the camera stand. But for this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the whole kitten enclosure and where they live and play and just have a blast. So here is the full outside of the kitten enclosure. One thing you may notice is that the full enclosure is in my garage, but don't worry, they do stay really warm even during the winter time. I do live in California after all, so the temperature doesn't really drop or rise too much. This first black hexagon right here is actually to make sure that the kittens can't run out. If we just had the door, whenever I tried to go into the enclosure, they'd be running out through the full garage. And when my mom's here, that means under her car too. Which would be really bad because then we wouldn't be able to get them out. So from in here, you'd see my view of the camera from inside the bars. Because this is where I sit with the kittens when I'm showing them off. I close myself in here so that they can't get out as well. When I have it open, they have an extra little area to play. This is often where I keep all of the ribbons and their little box and also some cleaning supplies. And here is where they sleep, eat, and do everything when I'm not with them. So as you see, we've got their water bowl over here and their food bowl over here. And we've got their litter box over there. And we actually have a heating pad for the nights when it gets cold. This imitates the mother's warmth and makes them just feel warm and happy and safe. That's their version of a really fluffy blanket at night. They also have really fluffy blankets. They even have this little cubby hold for if they want to hide. Sinatra, show them. No? You're feeling friendly? This is the cat tree that I have for them, which also brings them to the higher layer over here. And they also have the shelf down here by their litter box. That fan that's right there, we have it out of commission right now because it's summertime. I mean, because it's winter time. But during the summertime, we use that to keep it cool in the garage. This is the lamp we have in here because it can be pretty dark in here, especially with their privacy tarp blocking them from the garage light. Usually, I wouldn't recommend having water and food right next to each other. It makes it really easy for one of them to contaminate the other. You wouldn't want their dry food to get soggy, and you wouldn't want their water to have soggy dry food in it. But given that this is a small enclosure, I really have no other choice unless I put it near the litter box, and that is a much worse contamination. This cage is about three feet by five feet and eight feet tall. So it's actually a pretty big cage for just three little kittens. Believe it or not, kittens that are small do need to start off in small places. It's important that they don't get lost or get stuck anywhere that they wouldn't know how to get out of. And given that they're babies, it's very easy for them to do that. They even do it with their toys. Did you get stuck? That's why I keep the ribbons on the outside of the cage, so that you can't get stuck when I'm not around. Sinatra! Hi, Prince. Don't bite him there. Come on. It seems kitten brothers aren't very different from human brothers. <laughs> 